It's been so long since we've done what's on the bench, I've literally forgotten what's on the bench. Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today on What's on the Bench, if you're not familiar with this show, it's where I go through all the projects that I'm working on. And this one's sort of a special one because we're going to be spending a fair bit of time talking about a truck that I'm giving away. I know. I can't believe I'm giving it away either. This is a Land Cruiser 62 series. Uh, it's a eighth scale body. This is a MFAB 3D printed body kit. And I'll put a link down below to where you can pick one of these up for yourself. It certainly won't look like this when you get it. Uh, but this is a super accurate Land Cruiser 62 series. This was built by my very good friend, Richard, also known as Turks and Jerps on Instagram. Uh, he's also on the uh, YouTubes, so you can find his channel. I'll be sure to link it below. Richard and I uh, wanted to do a giveaway truck, and this is in conjunction with Cruiser Gear. Cruiser Gear is a Toyota-themed website where you can get all kinds of apparel and accessories and even some full-size stuff for real trucks on this site. And uh, Blake, who runs it, is a really great dude. He does a full-size one-to-one daily driver giveaway every few months, it seems anyway. He's given away an FJ40, he's now giving away an FJ62, and it looks exactly like this one, only bigger. And what you know we wanted to do was sort of give the full-size people a bit of a taste of what you can do with tiny trucks, so hence why we wanted to recreate the truck that Blake is giving away. Uh, this is pretty much, panel for panel, a, a recreation of the same truck. Uh, the only real difference is this one's obviously smaller. <laughs> I mean, beyond that, uh, it doesn't have the spare tire carrier on the rear bumper. It doesn't have an interior. It's missing a few details, uh, but otherwise, it's a pretty good looking example of a Land Cruiser 62 series. And the whole reason we wanted to do this was to show people in the full-size world what you can do with tiny trucks and get a little bit of cross promotion going on and show people what's possible in our hobby. So uh, Richard and I put this truck together. He did all the main body construction and sanding. Sanding on these 3D printed bodies is not a fun process and Richard probably has at least 20 hours into it just to get it to uh, a primable state. Uh, he primed it, sent it up to me here where I did all the completion, uh, paint, detail work, chassis construction, I should mention the chassis is an RC four wheel drive TF2 long wheelbase that was actually made even longer. You can see that I've extended it here uh, another like inch or so to make it a 13.3 inch wheelbase because uh, this is a massive body. It's 3D printed uh, and it's heavy and it is long. But you know, accuracy's sake, you get a nice big long truck. RC four wheel drive, they also wanted to be a part of this giveaway so they, they donated this long wheelbase chassis. I've set it up and locked it in first gear low uh, just so whoever wins this truck uh, doesn't go and smash it into a uh, curb, which I have some experience with. The main point was to make a tiny version of the full size truck and give it away to the same person who wins the full size one. So they get two trucks for the price of zero, because <laughs> uh, it is a really great giveaway. I'll be sure to link down below to where you can go to Cruiser Gear's page and find out all the rules and what you have to do to enter. But rest assured, uh, you buy some apparel, you buy some merch at cruisergear.co and you are entered to win this truck. If you live in North America, uh, well, specifically the United States and Canada, excluding Quebec, you've got a really great chance of winning this truck, going down to pick it up would be a dream come true. So um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the truck itself. Uh, it's just got some standard running gear in there, a five slot Reedy motor, um, Spectrum running gear. Uh, this is an RC four wheel drive front uh, bumper, uh, also RC four wheel drive worn winch. And um, that's about it. I cut all these decals myself on my new Cricut uh, Explore Air 2. 
Um, and tinted all the windows. Uh, these are all Lexan windows and I just applied actual automotive tint to the inside. Looks really great. Um, yeah, painted with actual Toyota metallic uh, dark gray, I think. It, this is uh, the dark metallic gray and I think it looks pretty spectacular, pretty spot on to the actual truck. So very happy with the results. MFAB does really great 3D printed body kits and uh, I've still got a 55 series here which will make its way onto the bench sometime soon. So that's the build. Um, yeah, I could not be happier. Thank you Turks and Jerps. Thank you RC four wheel drive and thank you Cruiser Gear for giving away a full size one to go with the little one. So there you have it. I should mention the Land Cruiser giveaway ends very soon. So head over to that website soon, get your entries in so you can take advantage and possibly win two very cool trucks. One you can actually drive in. And the next thing on the bench is this new Axial SCX-10 III Gladiator, uh, which I'm pretty excited about, I must say. I've just literally gotten into it and have already started shooting a bunch of video content on it. Uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about the actual truck. Uh, there's plenty of review videos out there and I'll be covering a few of the details uh, in that upcoming series. But I did want to get it on the bench to show you that I am working on other stuff. Uh, it's going to get very busy here in the next couple of weeks. So I've kind of tried to jam out a few projects in the meantime, and this is no exception. It's going to get a fair bit of modifying. There's already been a fair number of things done to it. A ton of parts from SSD have already been installed. Front knuckle weights, rear uh, weights, uh, brand new wheels and tires. Um, We've also got uh, some upgraded gears, the overdrive gears in the portals in the front, uh, uh, upgraded gears in the rear, uh, all from SSD. Uh, these new CC hand uh, front fenders are super slick. Uh, they um, aren't as probably as robust as the stock ones, but you do get light up uh, fender lights and that was sort of key to some of the realism of this truck. I'm really, really excited to have those on there and uh, can't wait to dive into this project more. It's going to get a full makeover before it even gets driven. So lots more to come on this one. Another truck that has been added to the collection and hasn't been touched yet in some time is this really great Forerunner project from a friend of mine, Tim Gurton, also known as Small Factory Studio. Uh, this is so cool. I'm really, really excited to build this, or well, I'm really, really excited to finish this truck. Tim already did an amazing job putting this together and adding some really nice parts too in the, in the process. I traded uh, Noob's old orange Hilux for this orange Forerunner. Um, it's been bobbed, as you can see. Very nice, clean bob on the rear here too. You, like you would never know that this was a shorter truck. Um, also, really nice tube doors. These are actually, I think, the RC four-wheel drive tube doors, but they look fantastic on here. Really loud, crazy interior, which I am so excited about. I think that just looks amazing in there. Uh, obviously, got to do the front seat still. It was. Uh, traded to me as a work in progress so there is certainly a lot of stuff that needs to be done still but uh, some really nice bits and pieces have already been done um, one of the coolest features I think is that it is uh, leaf sprung in the rear uh, let me see if I can get a good look at this here this is a curry uh, this is a vanquish curry axle on the rear here using the JEC mount points and uh, I think these are um, I think these might be Chino leaf springs actually, which look amazing. The whole drive line has been converted to GCM's uh, proper drop for a uh, Toyota. This looks so clean under here. I am so excited to have this in the collection. I'm really, really looking forward to getting it finished. Um, metal inner fenders. I don't know where those came from, uh, but those are rad. Really, really rad. Uh, great looking truck. Uh, I just love how crappy a good leaf sprung suspension functions. It's just the bee's knees. I'm so excited about this one. And Tim did an amazing job and I'm so glad that we were able to work out a cool trade. Uh, there's <laughs> in the rear here and I don't know that I can open this because I don't think it opens. Uh, but he's got this great box there. Spare Jeep parts. Fiat, 
from the Fiat Chrysler Corporation in a giant box. And then beside that, a little tiny manila envelope that says Toyota spare parts. So you can see the juxtaposition between Jeep parts and Toyota parts. You don't need a lot to fix a Toyota. I guess that's the joke. <laughs> I put some old uh, RC four wheel drive rock stompers on here with some old gearhead wheels. I think this combo looks pretty great on here if I'm honest and I'm probably going to keep it just like that. Lots more to do on this one. Um, no scale motor in this, but that's fine. Lots of room for uh, ESC, all kinds of electronics up front. Uh, let's get a look at that. Lots of room in there for electronics and the like. Um, should be pretty easy to keep everything clean. And this plug here, this isn't actually uh, for an ESC, that's for the motor. That's how Tim does all of his stuff. He just does a Dean's plug to the motor, to the ESC. Uh, that way he can just swap out electronics whenever he wants to. Pretty smart. All right, and finally today on what's on the bench for this episode anyway, episode, I don't even know what episode it is, seven or eight? Episode eight, that's the one we're on. Uh, okay, so finally for episode eight of what's on the bench, my Range Rover's finally done. Everything is installed, electronics are in, it works, all the details are finished, all the weathering is good. I'm ready to take this outside and do some video with it. I'm pretty excited and I'm not sure what happened since the last time, but a lot of 3D printed elements have made their way onto the truck, all from Night Customs. These, uh, these jerry cans, Night Customs. These Pelican cases, Night Customs. Rooftop tent, Night Customs. This storage box that I put in the back for no reason, Night Customs. Very happy with all of these pieces. And um, James offers all of these things in his My Mini Factory store, which I will put a link to down below. Uh, I really think that these sorts of details really can complete the look of a truck and really make it feel like it's part of the sort of theme that you're going for. Mine's sort of an overland expedition style vehicle and I think this uh, really helps kind of seal that deal. Uh, I've done a ton of weathering to it. Um, I think since the last time the fenders have been added, uh, these CC hand wheels have been added instead of the 3D printed ones that I did. I just found these looked so much better, especially now that they've been weathered up. Um, what else has changed? I think uh, the the license plate is probably new. I actually 3D printed this, sanded it, and uh, applied it on the back of the truck here. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to guess, or if you know, by all means, post down below what you think tosser might mean. I love reading through your comments and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild to help with those departure angles, no rear bumper. Um, but yeah, detail wise, it's all done. It's all wrapped up. There's a driver in there. There's a basic interior, uh, some nice elements to that as well. Uh, you know, muddied up the, uh, the wheel well here and left some muddy boots there and everything's hidden in terms of the electronics battery hides underneath the whole chassis, which if I haven't mentioned before is a GCM C max chassis, uh, with a full scale accurate driveline, uh, and front radius arms, just like a Range Rover has. So lots of really nice detail in there. Uh, including a full engine bay. And that engine bay is from scale designed by Mr. Comedy. Uh, 3D printed motor that goes over your electric motor, so everything is hidden. Uh, lots of nice little reservoir cans and bottles here for putting actual liquids into. And um, yeah, did a little bit of weathering job in there too. Um, it's, you know, clean but used. I think that's probably a good way of looking at it, especially for the age of these Range Rovers. I decided on a 35 turn Tekken motor. I believe it's one of the pro wound ones and a Tekken BXR because it's very small, can be hidden away easily and works perfectly on 2S as this is a true trail truck. Do you really need any more than 2S? Maybe. <laughs> no, that'll be fine for this truck. I'm really excited to get this one outside. And uh, I think on that note, it's probably best to end there. Uh, because I want to go outside before the weather turns crappy again. I can't believe I'm saying that. We're already approaching the beginning of fall. I can't believe it. Where has this year gone? Anyway, really thrilled with the progress that I've been making on some of my more long-term projects. It seems they're all long-term these days. 
and uh, can't wait to get these outside and actually get them running. That's going to do it for What's on the Bench Episode 8. Thank you so much for watching. Let's try to make these a little more regular now, huh? See you again soon.